Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Golden Goddess Universal Vlog. I hope you guys had wonderful holidays, so Happy New Year's, Merry Christmas, Thanksgiving, all that good stuff because it's been a while since you guys have seen me. I hope you guys, you know, did your vision boards and, you know, your, what do they call it? Whatever the things that y'all said that y'all going to do in 2018 that y'all know you're probably not going to do. But, you know, on the brighter side, let's hope that you do actually get there. So for this week, uh, I decided to try to condense some of the stuff. So I'm going to start um, doing like maybe two, two or three segments. And then we'll see how that goes as well going forward. So it won't be an hour long. Um, but you guys will get more episodes. And I'm working on, you know, being more consistent. So just watch for that. Okay, so this week we're going to start with the segment Superstar Meltdown. So, um, my friend messaged me and was telling me, like, about the whole Genuine situation. Like, you gotta look it up. So, uh, Genuine has been in the eye for a while now. And so, apparently, he had an issue, um, with kissing a transgender on, um, uh, live TV. And so, the show was, uh, The Big Brother UK. I never heard of that show before. I mean, I know it's popular but I haven't personally watched the show but I'm just gonna tell you what the people saying so far so apparently uh genuine uh has a housemate whose name is India Willowby that's how it sounds Willowby I'm probably wrong but that's what I'm gonna call her today and so she's a transgender and she lived in the house with uh, Genuine. And so she basically asked him, like, would he date a transgender or uh, anything of that nature? And he said, no, that he wouldn't date a transgender. That's really not for him. And so um, according to BET, um, basically she went in for a kiss. And he basically, like, slid away, like... He was like, nah, that ain't for me. So I guess the LGBTQ community is now basically saying that Genuine like has a transphobia and how he don't like trans people and how it's such an insult and yada 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 yada. Now this says like it actually quotes that she actually said, you know, will you date me? And he was like, no, Genuine said, no, not if you're trans. If you're transgender, I would not date you. And this is exactly, this is like, these are their exact words. So for me personally, when it comes to this, I feel like um, India was wrong. I don't have anything against transgender uh, people at all. Like, it is what it is. Do what you want to do. You are who you are. Do whatever makes you, you know, makes you the person that you are. That's really all I care about. But the simple fact that you knew that you were transgender, you asked him would he date or, you know, would he date a transgender person? And he told you no, he wouldn't date someone if they were transgender. And for you to still, like, um, try to kiss him and go in for a kiss. To me, I feel like that was disrespectful for India to do because not only did he tell you that that's, that that's not something that he would, you know, prefer or would consider doing, you basically said forget how he feel about the situation or how he feel about the people that he chose today and you're going to just, you know, push yourself on him regardless. And I don't really like the fact that she did that because I feel like it's ignorant and it's inconsiderate because I feel like everybody should have the right to be able to date or talk to 
or have sex with or get to know or, you know, associate themselves with people who they feel like they want to. Like, we can't be mad if, like, somebody don't want to associate themselves with you. Like, and it's not even that he said that he don't want to associate. He just said that he wouldn't date you. And if you know that he said that he wouldn't date you, what in your mind think that it was okay to try to kiss him? Of course he's going to swerve you. I would have swerved you too. Because if I told you that that's not what I'm looking for, why would you even try to do that? It's basically like you're saying, F my opinion and F how I feel about the people who I do want to talk to. And I'm going to just, you know, try to do it regardless. And I feel like that is a huge problem in society nowadays because even when someone is gay or lesbian, like a lot of males think that if a man is gay, that he wants you just because you're a man. Let's be clear. Nine times out of ten, if you're a heterosexual male and you're in a room with a homosexual male, that don't he don't want you. Nine times out of ten, he don't want you. You're probably not his style. He ain't thinking about you. So for the heterosexuals, stop thinking that if you're around someone who's attracted to the same sex, that that means that they automatically want you. Because I can guarantee you, nine times out of ten, you're probably not their cup of tea anyways. Humble yourself. It's really not that deep. Okay? And I feel like when it comes to India... If he said that you're not his cup of tea, then you're not his cup of tea. Everybody can have their preference. You know, some people don't mind dating people that's bisexual. Some people do. And he just don't want to date someone that's trans. That's fine. You might you might not want to uh, date someone that's trans. You might want to date someone that's bisexual. Or, you know, it, it really just, you have your own preference. And I feel like that was disrespect for, for her to push, push. She basically pushed herself on him. And that's, I, I have to be honest, that is why a lot of people who are heterosexual, they don't, um, you know, really agree or don't like people who, uh, who are a lesbian or gay or whatever they want to call it because of the simple fact that they feel like that you're going to push yourself on them and um that is a very, very terrible stereotype because not everyone that's gay, um, push they self on the next person they, that's not the case trust me everybody that's gay is not going to push themselves on you just because you're the same sex but however some people do push themselves on you know people and y'all shouldn't do that like if they feel like that you're not their cup of tea be cool and be chill now the gag is with india I'm trying to find out why social media, like, all down Genuine's throat. When even India said that Genuine was, like, he has this little fling or whatever going on with this other girl named uh, Ashley. Let me double check that. I believe her name is Ashley. Yes, Ashley James. And so her and Genuine has this little you dick going on. So I guess they've been flirting and, you know... Um, even India said that she feels like, even though she was eliminated from Big Brother, that, you know, she feels like Ashley and Genuine could really have, like, a real, you know, uh, relationship or love story or whatever going on. And if that's the case, you should never push yourself on them. Now, the funny thing about this is the fact that Ashley sitting here talking about how she likes genuine but she don't know if her family's gonna accept him because she was raised proper hold up ashley what 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 is the definition of being raised proper once you find out what it is you email me and you let me know because there is no right or wrong way to raise your children there is a preference but that don't mean that you're raised proper and don't think because you white that, you know, that means that you was raised proper. Please don't let that be the issue because guess what? You're still taking that black um, sexual sensation, aren't you? Had to say that song, cuss on this video. But you're still taking that, ain't you? Oh, okay then. So, and if you will accept taking that black sexual sensation, guess what? He has to be raised enough on the level for you to be messing with him, regardless of how many women he messes with or whatever. Every man has their little, you know, past. And most men, not all, but I think most men have to at least, you know, get their little hole. They got to get their hole with out of their system. In most cases, some females too. I'm not just coming for y'all guys. Some females too. Not me, but some females do. 
so yeah uh, India that's what you get for trying to still kiss him after he told you that that wasn't his cup of tea he has the right to not want to date somebody transgender just like I have the right to not want to date somebody that's bisexual what's the difference there is no difference except for the fact that there was a reassignment in the private area if that's a choice that's a choice you can't get mad you knew what you was doing that was your decision you're comfortable with yourself well i would hope you're not i mean i would hope you are comfortable with yourself and if you're not i hope you get to the place so you know being there my blessings to get in there however you're not going to receive everyone's blessing to or support in, you know, becoming who you are and continue to show who you really are as a person if you're going to push yourself up on other people when they told you that's not their cup of tea. You just got to, you got to take it for what it is. Everybody's not going to say and react the same way to everything. So just relax. And Ashley, I ain't got no beef with you because you messed with a genuine. I don't, I, I'm, I don't have an issue with being down with the swirl. That's fine. But if you're going to be down with the swirl, then you better be ready to accept it regardless of what your family and your people are going to say. Let me make that clear. Because you saying the whole proper situation, some black people will properly, you know, kick your behind if you keep playing in the social media like that. Okay? That's all I'm going to say for that one. So, guys, now we can go to the next segment, which is going to be the key to my... So, um, I have a little heart shirt on. Isn't that cute? Okay. So, we're going to talk about how to identify a scrub. So, if y'all was paying attention to the song that played in the intro, it was PMD, and the name of the song was Scrub. I'll put that at the bottom as well. So, to identify a scrub, I came up with this topic because, like, I was talking, you know, girls talk, girls talk. And so, my friends was like, you know, that this guy was like, oh, you ain't got to tell me X, Y, and Z because I'm a man. I'm a man. And I'm like, the way this story sounds, it sounds like he thinks he's a man. But guess what? <laughs> You're not. You're not a man. So, let me make this clear. For my men viewers, don't take it personal because the women gonna have a chance next week when I get on them because some women be slipping as well, okay? However, we're talking about y'all this week. So men, most of the time, not all of the time, but most of the time when a man is saying like, not even a man, when a, a male, let me correct that, when a male, M-A-L-E, say that they're a man, it's a good chance that they're probably not. And I say this because if you're a man, you don't have to go around saying, oh, I'm a grown man. I don't need you to tell me da-da-da-da this and da-da-da-da that. For what? Why, you don't, who are you proving yourself to? Because you're not proving it to me. You're trying to convince me that you're a man. Guess what? It's not, it's not working. It's not working. So, when that happens, ladies, Throw a red flag, unless it's a case where he's like, you know, I'm a man, I'm able to provide and do X, Y, and Z. Like, he's he's speaking positive vibes, like, he's speaking uh, knowledge and encouragement while he's saying the fact that, you know, he's a man. Because him saying that he's a man and he's also, his actions is also reiterating uh, that, then that's a plus. But if, it, if he's saying, like, I'm a grown-ass man in an argument, no. Nine times out of ten, he's not a grown ass man. Okay? Now, that's why a lady, she needs to be able to identify if he's a scrub or not. Okay? That's the problem. Stop settling. It's already too many females around here that's just throwing themselves at men. And so that's why men don't want to work for nothing. They don't want to work to have a good woman on their arm. And guess what? If you're it's easy. If you're so easy to get it, guess what? The next email probably going to be super easy to get it, too. And that's the issue. So, if he ain't got no job, he is screwed. Unless, because there is some special, you know, situations where a guy or, well, a man might not have a job. And he might be between jobs. And if he's in between jobs, and he knows how to save, 
that should be on y'all, you know, ideal men list, you know, just saw that from my past videos. He should be able to have, like, you know, savings to make it. Not saying that that's necessary, but it's a great idea. But he should be able to have a job. He should be able to communicate effectively. Hooping and hollering and screaming is not going to get you anywhere. If you cannot effectively, effectively communicate to me what the issue is, then how am I supposed to understand you? Just like when you're a baby or, um, or a toddler... You have to explain everything to your child. You have to let them know why this is right and why this is wrong. It's the same thing with your partner. You have to be able to, you know, explain to them, okay, this was not cool because you was out to 3 o'clock in the morning and I didn't hear from you from 8 to 3 and you didn't even tell me where you was at. That's a problem for some people. But you need to be able to communicate, okay? Um... Some people say that he has to have a car. I don't feel like that it's always necessary, depending on your location and depending on, um, I guess, I, I really do just feel like it's depending on your location, honestly, because some areas you need to have a car. Some areas, like, if they got good public transportation and it's good weather, then, you know, might as well. But as long as you can provide that's a good thing um if he lying if he cheating he a scrub ain't no lying and cheating tell me how you how he gonna be lying cheating and he ain't got no job and he ain't got his own place and you think that that's a good man where lying cheating no job no place lying cheating no job staying with their mama yeah, no, not over here. Yeah, no, 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 no. He's a script. And I feel like if you at least have a job, have your own place. In certain locations, it's okay if you don't have your own place because in Miami, it's expensive. So I might be able to, you know, work with that. That's a little bit understandable. But job, place, and at least a car and know how to communicate then he probably ain't no script. I think that's what I'm trying to say. He ain't no script. But you really just have to pay attention to how he communicates. Because I'm not, I can't deal with no liars and no cheaters. Like, and if he disloyal, if he disloyal, he is a scrub. Like, mm-mm. I think those are the main ones, though. Scrubs is liars, cheaters, disloyal can't trust them, you can't trust them, you can't trust them, no job, stay with their mama, that's just too many red flags for me, and I'm 23, that's just too many red flags, no, 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 cut them off, the D ain't that good, sisters, no D is that good if he cannot make you feel secure, remember that, quote that, hashtag that, the D ain't that good if he can't make you feel secure, period. Okay, and fellas, what is going on with, like, I feel like lately, a lot of guys, not all, but a lot, have so many insecurities. And I feel like men, guys, you need to understand that we, un women understand that y'all have insecurities, and we pick up on it like that, because it's like y'all, y'all damn near acting like a female, like, you can't be more emotional than a female you think it's supposed to be cool. No, that's a, that's a problem. That's a, that's a problem. If you're more emotional than I am when it's my time of the month, yeah, that's going to be a problem for me. Because who's supposed to, who's supposed to calm me down and keep me in check? If you tripping and I'm tripping, who's going to keep us balanced? No, that's not going to work. But, like, guys, y'all have to understand, like, okay, some women out here aren't women. They're girls, too. And they screw y'all over as well sometimes. I'm not going to just be one-sided because a lot of girls do that. They screw y'all over. But the thing is, when a guy get hurt, oh, baby, they get so insecure. They want to know why you ain't texting them back in two and three minutes and X, Y, and Z. And it's like, 
imagine if you was a woman. Like, put yourself in my shoes. Put yourself in other women's shoes. If you was a woman and you was cheated on before, as most are, I can, I can honestly probably say all women have been through that before, where they've been cheated on before. And then, guess what? We still got to keep that hope alive, that love is out there, and be in a relationship, and give a guy another chance, and then still make sure that we don't hold the guy that we're interested in now um hold them responsible for what somebody else did and that's the thing between men and women like men if they was hurt by a woman they be hurt babe for like 10 years like you still mad over her because she cheated on you like okay you could be upset but guess what you can't be continuously being insecure with when you trying to date other women and make them pay for it like guys you need to understand like if you have insecurities, I can understand that. But going into a relationship or talk to somebody, you need to let them know that you have insecurities and let them know how can they, you know, um, help you get past your insecurities. But, and that's a big but, make sure that you're not, like, being overly dramatic. Like, not know you have to text me every 10 minutes and calling me every hour on the hour. Like, you're taking it a little bit too far. Like, just let them know what things will help you to be more comfortable where you can be able to trust them so that you can be able to build their trust so that y'all have a, a solid, you know, relationship. But you cannot take it out on ladies in the future because we know when you're insecure. And nine times out of ten, if you don't want to work on your insecurities, no woman is going to want to be with you. They will leave you. If they're a woman, they will leave you. If they're a girl, they'll probably play your little games here and there. And then by the time, you know, you start finally trusting them, guess what? They're going to bet they cheated on your ass because you've been insecure and stalking them all this time. And then you want to know why they cheated on you is because you keep blowing them up all the time. Chill. Relax. Relax. And then you have to remember that... If you're not in a relationship, you can't expect a woman to just jump when you want them to say jump. If you want to date somebody uh, and only that person or, you know, monogamously, then you need to say that. Because don't expect, you know, for a woman to only be talking to you and not talking to nobody else. If you haven't made it clear that you only want to date this person, you trying to make, you trying to, you know, see if it works with that person and that person only. Unless you say that. I would say always assume that a uh, female is talking to somebody else. And I would say the same thing for you for you women as well. Like if you dating a nigga or a guy, I don't mean to say nigga, whatever. If you're dating a guy or whatever, I would always assume that he's talking to other females. Like unless you come to me and be like, look, I'm only trying to like mess with you heavy. I don't want to mess with nobody else. And let's just date each other and see where it goes. Then... I'm going to always think that you're talking to other females, so don't get mad if you're not at the top of my priority list. Like, y'all can't be doing it. Like, y'all got to chill. You got to chill on the insecurities because no real woman going to stay with a man that's insecure because eventually she's going to get fed up. And women have their insecurities as well, but women know how to control them a little bit better. Sometimes. And if she don't know how to control them, it's because she's crazy and you should probably, like, chill out. But really, if y'all really want to know the secret is for men and women, well, men, I'm going to help y'all out. The thing is, all women are crazy. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. All women are crazy. The thing is, you have to pick a woman that has the right amount of crazy that you can deal with. Because if your woman has a level 10 crazy, she'll probably bust your window, um, flatten your tires, blow up your mama house, and, you know, run you over with her car she's probably crazy you probably shouldn't go that far now I understand men love women that's crazy I get it I get it trust me I do but <laughs> you need to pick a woman with the right amount of crazy so that you know you you don't want to end up where she's so crazy and you end up in jail because you had to choke her because she was crazy like y'all don't want to be in that type of situation okay and then one more last thing men Y'all need to understand, see, this is why, this is why it's too many girls out here that's throwing their stuff at men because now men think that, oh, that women's supposed to be chasing them. Y'all need to get that in order because y'all got us messed up, okay? I am not chasing no man. Sorry. Sorry. The Bible says, he that finds a wife finds a good one. Guess what? 
you find me, you do right, you'll have me. If not, oh well, on to the next one. I'm not chasing no man. And I think a big part of that goes into the fact that it's so many women throwing themselves at men nowadays. They just so used to women throwing themselves at them. Now men don't know how to engage in conversation because it's usually the women that's starting the conversation. The women is starting the conversation. They're continuing to have the conversation. They're they're the ones working. They're the one paying the bills. They're the one that's taking care of the household. So then, what is there for there? What what is there for a man to do? That's why a lot of black women don't need no man. And they're very proud and say, I don't need no man. Because they could do it all by themselves. So if they can do it all by themselves, then what is the purpose of a man? If I can do everything by myself, what would be the purpose of me even having a man? Except for to provide me. And if you really want to take it that far, a lot of women do use sex toys. And they have ways to get to take care of them if they want to. Is all I'm saying. So that's why... Man, y'all need to start back putting in effort towards a woman. If she make you work for something, then she obviously stand for something. Because no real woman is going to chase no man. Like, it's just not going to happen. And it is just so sad that we got to the point where, you know, women have to chase men anyways. Like, no. You should be chasing me. Okay, this is gold over here. This is gold, and men don't understand it. So when it's so it's so funny because it's like when women hold a man up to standards, then it's like, oh, she bougie, she stuck up, she thinks she all that. Dang, I'm bougie and I'm stuck up because I have standards. Oh, well, guess what? I'll take that. I'll be that for you. And you know that that'd be cool. That'd be cool. I'll be that for you. And that's just because it's very simple. The answer is simply because it's too many little girls out here. Too many little girls out here making it so easy for these men. And at that point, I really don't know if they're a man or not. Because if you want a woman that's just going to throw it at you, then what type of man are you? Not the type of man that I want. Mm -mm. So, guys, I just want to say thank you. I miss you guys. I love the support. And uh, this video is only like 30 minutes. But right now I say 27. But like 30 minutes. So that's really good. So you guys give me your feedback, your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Okay? Uh, please email me at clark.shantiera at gmail.com if you have any questions or you want to be a guest. And yeah, guys, have a good year. Stay focused. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.